I think you're right. I think it is. Uh, let me just yeah. This the names. this looks real. All right. So Puff Fox. This is a this is a tough matchup for Puff. Um, yeah. Fox has all the all the tools, all the mobility. If Fox lands a shine, he gets a knockdown. If he gets a grab, he has access to really strong uh, follow-ups. So Sai is going to want to DI those up throws extremely well. Ooh, standing laser in <laughs> point blank range on shield. Oh, interesting down smash. Yeah, Connects. very. Caught, caught side just like running in, um, which is interesting since since Puff doesn't even run all that much. I mean, she has to run at you to try and grab you, so maybe that's right, what Sai right. is going for. Uh, misses the edge cancel, but no punish from Sai. Probably so, expecting the edge cancel, honestly. Yeah, honestly, that's a good point. Soft bear, shine. Um, even even if your bear would connect with a soft hitbox, if you L cancel it and get the shine out, then like you're you're pretty good, honestly. Oh and, wow! Unless they like power shield the soft bear, then yeah. they might be able to punish out of shield, but. Looking like a, a strong lead for Slog so far. Yep, he's got the upper hand for sure. Sai having trouble just, you know, creating a legitimate opening. Yeah. But here's uh, one. That's the hardest part with, with Puff is you can capitalize really hard on uh, certain situations, but getting to manufacture those situations is, is rough. Yeah. Nice potential SDI. Could have been a, a misspaced up air, but... Good DI on the up throw and Tech's away. Ledge, yep, and then an, an invincible left ledge dash. But Shy doing a good job controlling the stage right now. Yeah, walling him out with the pain, the bears, the wall of pain. Nice oh. nair, and then nice usage of uh, Randall to reset his jumps as well. The ledge stall to the back air was nice. And oh. Then, uh, oh. oh, a little uh, too low for that to connect. Slock's getting a little, a little up smash happy. These, <laughs> there we go. Those soft nares are so cute. Oh, wow. That's neat. And, oh, Quite too, too high percent. Yeah. So we might see Slock's fish for a, uh, yep, I was going to say, fish for an up smash. Is it really fishing, though, if they land all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. On this stage only, does that work? Dying off the other side at that percent. Okay, I, I did. I was not aware of that. So that's pretty. Uh, that's good to know. Yeah, I mean, it, I think it would have been a close call on many other stages. If Fox okay. can make it back. Okay. Yeah, right. I was uh, a little surprised. Slox missed the DI, but yeah. uh, I mean, he, here we are on last stock. Anything can happen, especially. Um, oh, it looks like I'm getting called. Maybe I can just finish commentating this game set, real quick. Yeah. yeah, it looks like it is within up hill, up air percent, there and there's yep. game one. All I right, gotta well, go, nice having you. Okay, so that was game one to Slocks. It's a bit of an interesting set so far. Um, oh, wow. Uh, Slocks tacking on the damage real fast. Lasers combined with uh, forward airs and all the other good stuff. Ooh, is that gonna be a gimp? Yep, looks like it. Wow, that's what you get for going off stage, man. We're getting thrown off stage. Um. Uh, Swanky Boo? Yeah, back on the mic with me. Uh, Alright, so, um... Slox versus Dude Inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Slox took a, a kind of an interesting game one. Um, and here, uh, Dude Inside is in the lead, actually. <laughs> what a vault. Yeah, uh... Slox destroyed me on stream at, uh... New game plus last week. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's pretty good. Yeah. 
Um, He's staying up here for the week, right? I think so. I, I'm actually don't, not sure where he is, but... Uh, he's apparently staying with Mafia. Oh, uh, okay. Dude, it's Sai uh, pulling the infamous Sai. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, oh man. And he's making it back, and... Uh, thanks, Hungrybox. What, are you, what, is it, what does that mean? Hungrybox was the one who, like, popularized that, like... I'm not sure about popularized, oh, no, no, I mean, like... Hey, this is okay now. I'm not sure that was popularized. It bothers me. But. Okay, anyway, we can talk about yeah. the match and uh, uh, what to do in this situation as Fox. I mean, he's trying to get Sai off the ledge. You can run up down tilt like uh, yeah, Armada like Armada likes to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I forget what... Uh, Bop. I forget what Mango was doing off stage at Evo. I think he was uh, running off back air or something. Yeah. This is I a, guess that works. This is a very interesting uh, game, too. Dude, it's I kind of infamous for taking... Uh, wow. Kind of infamous wow. For, for taking out good, uh, you know, top names. At least taking one game off of, like, top players in the region and even in the world. Well, I mean, Jigglypuff, like... Incredibly volatile matchups versus both space animals. So yeah, yeah, uh, it's, it's but it's not like. But it's not just it's not just space animals. He's done the same with the moon almost every single time they play. Oh wow! It takes at least a game. It's very interesting. Um, so size clearly no slouch. Uh, it's just I don't know. Sometimes he chooses not to be. That Does he have any secondaries? Nope. Well, yes, but he doesn't. I don't think he plays them against uh, like Widget. a high level player. No. All right, so uh, Slox with a counter pick to uh, Pokemon Stadium, working out so far for him. The up smash will kill at like 60%. Something ridiculous like that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Slox makes it back despite a slightly messy recovery. Ooh. I don't know if he wanted to wave dash back or something, but he rolled back instead by accident. Yeah, that didn't seem right. Yeah. What a walk. Wow, alright. If Slox manages to get another up, up throw up air, I, he may walk away with the four stock to one lead. Pretty difficult in this part of the stage, though. Oh, oh well. or you could just jab up smash. Wow. I mean, it works. Slox is uh, seems to be unfazed by game two. You know, he uh, yeah, he's, he's just doing his thing, bopping him now. Wow, up tilt, up air. Dude, it's uh, it's really nothing. Kills. He has no idea what to do. I mean, he has an idea what to do. But I mean, like, he, he's... It's a matter of doing it, right? Like, that's the hard part. I mean, he's... He seems like he's lost. Uh, I think he has lost the set, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Barring, uh... Back throw three times. Twice. All right, it works. Shine stall the bear. Huh. Very interesting options here from Slox to try to edge guard Jigglypuff. How does one? How does a Jigglypuff even edge guard it when a fox is just coming up from beneath it with Firefox? Uh, pound is pretty good. Huh. You can try to trade with it with uh, forward air and other things too. It's bringing this back. Oh wow! All right, I believe in the slocks. 124. I think he just has to oh, yeah, do that. <laughs> all right, was that really a taunt worthy? <laughs> Is this best of five all through semis? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay.
Yeah, everyone seems to be adopting the best of five top eight now. Yeah. It's a, it's a good idea. Yeah. Not sure if it's that good of an idea for so a 60-man actually... tournament. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I actually don't like this stage for this matchup too much for Puff. Why not? Only because you give Fox so much room to run around in laser. And all you get off of it is surviving like 10 more percent. And like, good for you. <laughs> Feels like... I would think it would be more than 10%. Like, if your DI is on point, I think... Yeah, maybe. Going. Maybe 20, but even so. Like... Like, over Battlefield, like, maybe 15, maybe 15%, but, like, honestly, what, like, Fox can run away and shoot lasers for 15% in, mm. in like, three seconds, so, like, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if he makes use of this counter pick. Okay. Well, it's kind of a passive counter Dash pick. Up. Yeah. Just, like, DI normally and survive longer. Yeah, I mean, a survival counter pick is important. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a part of your game plan, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll often counter pick for my combos. As Marth's recovery is, like, the same on every single stage. Yeah. This guy in the chat is saying FOD would be the best stage. I think, that, I think that would make sense. It's, yeah, it looks like there's some debate in the chat over which is the best. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the ceiling is almost as high, so can't up smash. I would agree. I would say FOD and there's probably. Not as much room to laser. Yeah. yeah I guess it would work. Alright, back to lasers. Run away, shoot lasers. Go in with an air. Oh, he won on FOD, so he yep. couldn't do it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Up smash. Kind of like Hulk smash, but <laughs> with Fox. Um, like, very sometimes I wish Pal would be, like, generally adopted so that Fox's up smash would be worse. Yeah, like, but... Like, it makes me really mad when, like, in the middle of FD, when, yeah. like, you DI kind of incorrectly so you go straight up, you die at, like, oh, as a Marth, you die at, like, 90? Yeah. It's not fun. Pal up smash is still quite strong though. On Fox it kills like 18% later. Yeah. That's huge. That's pretty big, you're right. It's not broken anymore in that game. Pal was a pretty good... They did some really good things in that. That... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. alright. Oh, okay. And is he gonna get... And... Didn't yeah. kill. Yeah, you get if you but get 38 percent is nice. Oh wait, yeah, isn't it twenty? If you get rested at like zero, it doesn't really do anything. It's a lot of percent though. Yeah, that's a fair amount of percent, but you lose a lot of time, momentum. Yeah. All right, uh, it's gonna be a three zero, three one. Sorry for slocks. Um. All right. Yeah.